So, it's been two years since we posted this video. Now the question is, how has this baby aged since throwing in the GTX 970? So, today we're gonna find out. Comments actually asked us to provide further updates on this build somewhere further down the road. So, here we are. Nothing's been changed since we threw in the 970 and the new power supply in this in that video two years ago. So today, we got a one terabyte Samsung 860 Evo. And just for good measure, a new power supply. It's been two years. Let's get cracking. So here's the deal. <laughs> this HDD is eight years old. <laughs> it's from 2010 and still runs my operating system. December, Zach's always upgrading Dell and Spron 660s and growing a beard. And Dr. D may or may not be here at this time. Oh my gosh, it's done! I did it! Now we get to see if it powers on. You know the drill, just like before. Moment of truth. Oh my gosh, listen to that churn. Oh, that sounded like so much better. Dude, I think it's more solid now. I was like, whoosh. Rightio, mates, that concludes physical installations. And now, the bigger question, does Windows recognize? Okay, so I'm now going through a tutorial to add a letter to SSD. It's only for reading it, those purposes. Oh, you go to, what did it say? You right click, this PC in, uh, in the file explorer and go to manage. This will come up and then you go down here and then a box will pop up that asks you to, to read it for the first time and you choose, you can just choose default I guess. GPT, GUID or something like that. Just click OK. And that's all I know so far. Let's see here. All right, boys and girls. So this is the this is the this is the menu that you want. Sorry, this is this is the this is where you want to go after you install it. You will get to computer management, and then down here you will see this is my right there. The first ones that's my that's my two terabyte mechanical uh, online. Then disk one, the almost one terabyte. It says unallocated, so that's the SSD, so we gotta fix that. Honestly though, I'm just looking at this and thinking we need a new volume. So let's try it and see what happens. Sign the following letter. Let's go P for permanent. Hey ladies and gents, look at that. That just popped up. That was, uh, what do you want to do with this drive? You need to format the disk in drive P before you can use it. Son of a gun, sis. Okay. Fine. Do it. So there it is. Local disk P. And I have name, renamed stuff. Mechanical and solid state. Oh yeah. 
drive is not formatted, you must format it before you can label it. Oh, capacity. Oh, it's not gonna mess with my partition. Hey, there we go. Sweet. All right. I think we've done it. We're all done. That's a wrap, ladies and gents. There you go. Yes! Six, six, six gigabits per second. Max negotiated signal speed. Oh crud, one other thing though. I expect to see three gigabit per second for the mechanical now. But maybe it will say six. Nope, it says three. Okay. So it's one. Definitely. So that's, from my perspective, this is the evidence right here. Or is it that a Dell and Spron 660 has only one SATA 3? Oh, we also get it right here in Crystal Disk. SATA, Samsung, SATA 6, and then mechanical SATA 3.